So I already see uh, some people buying these uh, tiny essays and they are buying them to be uh, RF generators. And it does do that, um, but I wanna make sure that um, it does what you need it to do. So I wanna show you the performance of the, uh, of the RF generator. A lot of people are all focusing on the uh, spectrum analyzer side of it, but let's uh, do the, um, Let's do the generator part size of it. So we're going to hook up to the low output and run that into a spectrum analyzer. So we'll go into um, mode and then it says uh, switch to low out. So we're going to switch to low out and we're going to set it to some frequency. Uh, let's do seven megahertz. That's a ham radio thing. 7 megahertz. Let's set the function generator to 7 megahertz. And let's turn it on. Up button up here says on and there we go. We have a we have an output. And um, we can uh, zoom out a bit to megahertz. So looks okay. 7 megahertz uh, 2 megahertz span. Um, so let's zoom in again, 100 kilohertz, um, and we've got about uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 dB of signal um, over the noise floor. Now it does have uh, different levels. Um, I don't know what the full range of level is. Um, it has modulation and it has just a couple a couple choices it has uh, am1 kilohertz uh, so we can do that let's do am1 kilohertz and I'm not really seeing what I want to see so let's go to a 10 kilohertz span so um, these are the 10 kilohertz a uh, one kilohertz um, side lobes um, and uh, we have a 300 hertz resolution on the resolution bandwidth of this so we can just barely see these two sidebands but we have these big sidebands out here so those shouldn't be there so that's that's a big that's a big problem and i wondered what was going on so it says it's it's modulating at one kilohertz so what we're going to do is we're going to use this uh HP 8921 um, test set as a test set. We're going to actually go look at that AM modulation. So we can do uh, uh, a look and uh, we are uh, low in frequency by about a uh, kilohertz and we are mod there's an AM modulation of 27% uh, modulation depth. Um, we can then take the um, the AM or the signal put it into an AM demodulator and we can take a look at that on an oscilloscope and so this is what it looks like um, it's not a sine wave uh, it's a very strange signal and it's kind of bouncing around it's not always one kilohertz it's it's bouncing around a bit and then let's listen to that So it's definitely not one kilohertz. It's something funny going on. Um, so, uh, yeah, we could do the 10 hertz. Um, so this is the demodulation of the 10 hertz. Now that may be a uh, a, a function of this uh, modulation demodulator that is inside the uh, test set. I haven't dialed it in. The, the t resolution bandwidth of that particular thing may be funny, but it looks like it's probably a square wave modulation at 10 at 10 hertz. We're not able to see it on the spectrum analyzer because that's just in too narrow, but um, I don't know about that one. Uh, the 
fingertips. Certainly the, uh, the one kilohertz is looking very suspect. Um, so I don't know about that. Maybe you don't want to use the modulation on this thing. So we'll turn that off. Okay, so let's go back to the um, spectrum analyzer. Okay, uh, one of the coolest features it has, it has sweep. So you can change, uh, you can say span. I want to span one megahertz. So I'm gonna, well, maybe not, maybe one megahertz is too far. Let's span 0.1 megahertz, there we go. Um, and then you can change the sweep time. So you can put in the span and the sweep time. Let's put in a two second sweep time. And there we go, we can watch the, um, we can watch the carrier sweep. Um, geez, I have modulation turned off and it's really funny over here. Let's turn this on and off just to make sure it's okay. Yeah, it's really strange. Let's do a hundred kilohertz sweep. Yeah, so there's a, there's the sweep going on. So it's got a lot of uh, spurious emission for some reason. So let's do this whole thing, but let's move up in frequency. Let's go to 144 megahertz. And uh, we sort of see the same thing. And um, what else can we do? We can take a look at, uh, we can turn that sweep off. Uh, span, let's do a span of zero. That should stop it from sweeping. So there, it's pretty clean now. Um, and let's do modulation up here at 144. Let's turn that modulation back on, one kilohertz. And let's zoom into that. And we see the same thing. We see uh, side lobes. It looks like it's a little off in frequency. Uh, yeah, it's again, it's one kilohertz off. It's a little low, um, but not bad. So, um, so you know, it does something. It's not the cleanest generator. Um, it's supposed to do a level change. I never have gotten that to work. So go back to spectrum analyzer mode. So let's turn on the sweep again. So we're going to span uh, 0.1 megahertz and we're going to span, we're going to do a sweep time of uh, two seconds. And we need to go out in frequency to see that there. So, okay, so now we're sweeping again. Now there's supposed to be, you can sweep it with a intensity change also. So you can say, I want to change it. Uh, so it's supposed to sweep from minus 15 to minus six as it goes across. I guess it's changing a little bit. Yeah, it is changing. I don't think it's changing. Uh, well, it's only changing. Yeah, I said 20 dB, but it's maxing out, I guess. So we can change the level to minus 20. So now it's going from minus 20 to minus six. Oh, there we go. Well, it's doing something. Okay, and then um, let's go to the high output. We'll turn this off. We'll go to the high output, which is above 350 uh, megahertz, up to 960 megahertz. So we'll mode a uh, high output and let's go to uh, 500 megahertz, 500 megahertz. Okay. And turn it on and there we go. Uh, so we're getting a, uh, getting a signal at 500 megahertz. And we can do the same thing. We can turn the modulation on, but this time we don't have AM modulation. We only have FM modulation. And I can just tell you that FM modulation is kind of screwed up too. So, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, 
be a little worried about thing going on. We can we can do uh, wideband FM. We can uh, wideband FM of uh, one kilohertz. Um, span sweep time. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. One second. I'm not sure about the FM stuff. Anyway, um, like I said, it's not the greatest uh, greatest generator, but it does do some cool things. And if you just need a generator, I mean, it, it does do things. Let's uh, measure the actual output power. Um, this one is supposed to be, let's see, span, let's do zero. Uh, sweep time to zero. Modulation is off. 7 dB. Let's make sure we're getting something out. Yeah, we're getting a carrier out. So it's supposed to be minus 7 dB. So I have a, a power meter that we can connect and we can measure the output power. And we're getting a minus 5. So Minus about minus six, maybe we're, it's, we're set to minus seven. So with within a dB, that's not that's not so bad. Uh, let's go back to the uh, low output. Um, turn this off. Let me move the connector over to the low side. Okay, mode, low out. Uh, let's set it to 144 megahertz. Uh, level says minus 15 dBm, blah, 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 blah. Turn that on. And let's see what that measures. Minus 15.9. So we're within a dB again. So it's pretty good with, uh, it's pretty good with intensity. All right, so uh, use at your own risk. Um, it is a bit noisy. Um, that's, it does uh, seem to sweep. It does seem to modulate, although not with a sine wave. It modulates with a very strange, uh, a very strange signal. So, there you go.